Welcome back to our channel. I'm Kennedy with House West Design and welcome to our Always On Vacation project. So this is the third home we've done for these clients and they came to us and said, we're closing on a home in six weeks and we want it furnished and ready to go for us to come and vacation in right away. On this particular home, we didn't design the hard surfaces. And so I wanna talk a little bit about what that process looks like, bringing a designer in only for furniture. It's really easily done. And honestly, it, it could end up saving you a lot of money in the end because we can come in and furnish everything within six weeks. And if you were to go through a retail store and try to accomplish this, you're gonna be spending thousands of dollars more to do that than this luxury service that we offer. So what we do is we put together a cost estimate and a budget that we all agree on that the clients are comfortable with. And then we designed the home for this one in particular. We designed it within a week. And at the end of the week, we placed the order. And six weeks later, we've staged the home and it looks phenomenal. So this home is 2,600 square feet. So it's not the biggest home, but it was perfect for our clients to come in vacation in. And I just want everyone to know that it's totally so okay to hire a designer and get this luxury service on a home that isn't massive. Like we can do room by room, we can do a whole house. It's really a fun collaborative process that we don't care about the square footage of the home in order to design it. So I'm standing here in the entry and we kept it really functional in here. We did a beautiful rug, we did an ottoman so you can tie your shoes up on your way out. And my favorite part of the whole entry is this gorgeous wall hanging that we did. It fits on a wall that's not massive and it makes it interesting. So come with me into the kitchen. In the kitchen we picked these amazing bar stools and the existing kitchen had these black hardware on the cabinets and we wanted to highlight those and so we picked a black stained wood countertop stool and the seat is a brown leather and that just gives it some texture but it also makes it really easy to clean form follows function that's what we like and here in the dining room I fell in love with these dining chairs and they're not the most comfortable seating and so we threw in a bench in the back that's upholstered and soft so if grandma's coming and staying and she wants to sit in a soft seat, we included that. So everyone has a spot at the dining table. This is gonna be a vacation home. So they're gonna be gathering and hosting. And so we wanted to see as many as possible. And sometimes I find that a round dining table is the best way to accomplish that. In the great room, it's right off the entry. So we wanted to consider all the selections and finishes in the great room and made sure they went really well with the entry finishes. So we chose to do two gray sectionals because if you're on vacation, you're gonna be in and out of the pool. There's a lot of red sand here in St. George and we wanted it to be easy to clean and we felt like this gray fabric was that. This horse art was in their, their other home we designed for them and they loved it so much, they wanted to use it again in this home. And so we highlighted it here in the great room and it just really feels like the client's personality. And that's one of my favorite parts about designing is bringing in the client and bringing in their family and their personality. Then it really feels like it's their home. The primary bedroom is so peaceful. We are gonna be doing custom drapery in here. They're not in yet, but we have the rod up. I really wanted this space to feel serene and peaceful and calming because after a long day of having fun and swimming and doing all the fun activities, I wanna go home and relax and have so much zen. So we did a really neutral color palette in here. Everything is really tonal and creamy and textural. We really focused on the textures in here and the bedding and in the rugs and the art. Even the lamps have this like brushed texture on them. This lamp is Hands down my favorite piece in the room. It's the star, it's the focal point, and something fun about it, it's got this brass lampshade. <laughs> and this textured base, and the scale of it, like, I'm not tall, but it's like almost as tall as me, so it's huge. So in the first guest bedroom, it's their daughter's room, and we wanted it to be really fun and playful. So starting with the rug, we found this rug that had this graphite color that's also in the bathroom tile floor. And when we're designing furniture for a home where we didn't design the hard surfaces, we really consider 
the finishes that are already there because we don't want anything selected to be jarring or to be very noticeably different than the existing design. And we picked this amazing pink color, which is this like rosy pink color. And then we used that color to pick out the rest of the finishes. So we did a textural lampshade. We found this fun patterned ottoman and everything in here just feels young, youthful and playful. So we have this little hallway that's kind of where all the guest bedrooms are connected and I found this textural piece that I am obsessed with. I think when it comes to designing art, it's really important to consider scale because you can go really big and make it a moment or you can go really small and make it a moment. And in this home we made our art oversized and large and fit the wall and it adds so much interest to a space. We never want a home to feel like a big empty white box and so adding oversized textural art can really help you accomplish that luxury finished feeling anyway okay into this room <laughs> so the way we added a lot of character to each room was by picking a unique pink color for it that way each kid feels like it is actually their own space and that just really helps it feel cozier more custom and in this room we chose to go with this really almost chocolatey rust color and it just feels like the room is hugging you in here you feel so cozy it's kind of tricky the floor plan here because the bedrooms are really small and the clients requested king beds in every single room and so sadly we couldn't fit two nightstands but it kind of created this really fun asymmetrical moment where we could play off of the asymmetry with the art and doing one oversized nightstand with a lot of detail, a large lamp. It was a really fun way to get creative and work around the small tight rooms. Furniture is like the final layer. It's like the cherry on top. You could walk into an empty home and feel like you don't love it until you add all the furniture and then bam, it's like amazing. So these last two guest bedrooms, we kind of used a lot of repetition as we did in the other rooms. We did really fun textural rugs, oversized art, king beds in both. Everything about these rooms just feels cozy, it feels finished. The fun is happening outside of the rooms, but when they come home, they'll be cozy rooms. <laughs> One way to make your hallways feel like not boring long white hallways is by adding a runner and by adding some cool oversized art. So that's exactly what we did here. No, I need to do that again. I don't know how to do a runway walk. I'm five foot, so, okay. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming with me on this home tour of our Always On Vacation project. If you guys have any questions about our furniture process, leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to like and subscribe so you can come with us on all of our future home tours.